Today is day 338 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on with project... Project something. Project number 8. Simple calculator. Okay. So here is our example project. You know what? Let's um let's go ahead and open up our our project as well. That's good. Okay, so we've got our example project again, calculator as one would hope for it. So let's see five. Oh, that's up there. Here's into the code five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one, two, three, four, enter. Very cool, very cool. Things work. Uh, we need to open our code. Ta-da! So that's where we're currently at. Let's go ahead and inspect ours. Now, we need to do the following. We are looking for something to do with the divs and grids. I think. I remember what it was. Yesterday, I was struggling trying to come to terms with how to set up the grids, and I realized this is its own grid. It's also its own div. And this is, let me highlight, the number pad is also its own grid. So we've got a grid of three by four in a lower div. Up here for the header and the result screen, that's another div of one column, two rows. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take that and we're going to piece all this noise together. At least I think we will. I'm not too sure. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Let's try that on for size and see how that all how that all plays out. Yeah. Good. I want to do this. Do I really want to use display grid that much? I know I can use it out of the gates to lay the foundation. I'm still struggling on how I want to sort all of this nonsense. What to do, what to do. You know what else we could do? I think there's the span. I think that's what I should also be using. Is span. CSS grid. Is span, we can tell it. Do certain things. Uh, probably around 7. Eat span 2, like this, with the carrot stuff. So we could tell the header to span from 2 to 4. Technically 2 slash 5. First number is inclusive, the second number is exclusive. We could do the header for calculator 2 to 5 on our grid. That would work. We could, we could make that happen. It'd look a little, little weird, but I could live with that. We're also missing... Where's our results window? 
or our tab or our total? Do we not have total included in our rows? I thought we did. Maybe we don't. Hey, Mr. Demon Wolf. Uh, how are you doing? Mr. Demon Wolf had to move to X Split as was having issues a lot and did not like my capture card that is old. Oh, from OBS? Yeah, I was wondering about, I mean, when I go to upgrade my computer to something more worthy of streaming and handling games and processing video and all that noise, um, I was wondering about changing from OBS. I figured I'd stick with it because I'd been using it for the last year, but I wasn't, I know you have to pay for X. Split, I think is an X split like a subscription. I don't know if it's a one time like annual fee or something like that. Um But I don't know. I I haven't heard bad things about X split. I just know OBS is widely used because it's free. Oh dear God, Nightbot is still there. I thought we solved Nightbot's link issue. Good God. But yeah, x xsplit.com, that is, wow. Why is Nightbot so angry? Let's save 65% off xsplit premium lifetime license, holy sh- Maybe I should, maybe I should look into that. I should just buy that anyways to have it. Steam offer. Upgrade XSplit and unlock new features for as low as $2.50 a month. I mean, if you're streaming daily, kind of worth it. Lifetime license mega sale. Premium license. So, what's the price? XSplit premium license. $200. Maybe, maybe. I need to think about that. I mean, dollar cost-wise, it's there. Is it better than OBS? XSplit is cheap if you find codes. I paid four bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do you... So, I mean, it sounds like you just changed to it, so I don't know if you... how comfortable or familiar or maybe you've used XSplit in the past but then went back to OBS I mean it sounds like everyone who uses XSplit enjoys it but I also haven't heard of any like substantial benefits or reasonings to use XSplit over OBS although I haven't really been looking for reasons uh, I have premium. Both are good. I used XSplit before as it fixed my issues. XSplit is very good, just CPU issues. It uses more CPU. Ah, fascinating. Well, that's not necessarily terrible. I mean, you get a, if you get a beefy CPU and you've got a decent graphics card, then graphics card will be juggling the majority of the games. Leave the CPU for doing its share of the game stuff, and the remainder for juggling XSplit. Uh, you could do a dual PC setup with a capture card. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about, um, thinking about a, a dual PC that up although I've got my concern is that although I'm going to be upgrading my computer what I'm currently going to be doing in the earlier part of the year as I transition from just exclusively coding into juggling more more things on my stream adding a bit more variety to it games included uh, is I've got a lot of console games that I'll be playing so I don't need the craziest machine out of the gates for like the first six months of the year because um, I already have a capture card, I just need a decent computer with a, you know, 
any quad core i5 will basically suffice and will be able to run uh, the Elgato capture card I have. It's just I'm right beneath that threshold with an older dual core i5 um, that my current computer has, my Mac Mini from 2011. So since I'm going to be upgrading, there's no point in me just getting a current computer that I'd use for six months with like really low spec gear. So I may as well get a, a, a better machine like up front now, just kind of put all the dollars together. Um, but yeah, for like at least six months, I probably won't even scratch 40% of the, the power for whatever computer I end up building. But that's that's just me. Being that guy. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Meme therapist. Uh, that mines Bitcoin in the background. I'm not, I wasn't planning on on mining Bitcoin, but that is that is a thing. That's an option. Get some quad graphics card machine. Set up all server of graphics cards get eight radeon cards or whatever oh he's saying exploit mining ah right my bad misinterpreted um you go with the amd risen 17x oh god 17x that should do it, no issues. Even the 1500X. I could send you gear. PC build is about 2000. Not the case. I was looking. All the Risen stuff looks awesome. I've, I've also got... How, how is the Risen platform for... Um, the Adobe suite. Because I just know Intel and NVIDIA go hand in hand. And I know those pair great with um, a lot of the Adobe products. Whether it's Premiere or Illustrator or whatnot. Um, I know that's a different beast. I know deep dive on the professional side, you'd, you'd want to go with like a Quadro card and one of the high-end ones, but that's the, the high-end ones are the cost of a whole computer, whole gaming machine practically, and I'm not quite doing that level of, of Adobe work, um, but I'd like to get to that point. I think I want to get into AutoCAD. Um, but I know, I know any of the, the GTX cards, especially the higher level ones, because I still want to do gaming on the computer in the future, as well as streaming and potentially video editing as I start to produce more and more content and of different types. So I just want to have a balanced machine, I guess. So I was still checking out the, the Intel CPUs. I wasn't sure. I just know the dollar cost for AMD has been great this year because of the whole Risen lineup. I know the Risen lineup's gotten rave reviews, but most of it, I think, has been focused around the gaming front, so... Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, Mr. Newell, uh... Let me... With you links if you want... Open your dashboard. Wait, 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 wait. Let me send you links. You want to open your da dashboard stuff? Go for it. Link away. Oh, is Nightbot still there? Nightbot, the fucking link police. Can I unmod Nightbot in the meantime? Let's unmod Nightbot. Nightbot's been ridiculous. There we go. Link away. Or or whisper the links or, or whatever. Oh, you could do permit username. Okay, that works too. 
That works too. Nightbot, remod. Son of a bitch. Damn it, Nightbot, where are you? There, mod. Okay, and then we'll do permit. Mr. Demon. Permit. Mr. Demon Wolf. Mr. Demon Wolf. Yes, there we go. There we go. Do I need to do the ad for Mr. Demon Wolf? I wonder if I do. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do both in case it doesn't work. Select all. Copy. There we go. There we go. Wow, for 60 seconds, you can only send links? That's ridiculous. Dem, 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 dem. Dem, 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 dem. Yeah, Corsair Vengeance. DDR4, that's what I was thinking. 32 gigs. Yep. My issue is that I've got, I've got, oh, the second link is all the parts. And 70. Yeah, I was trying to track down a liquid cooled 1080 Ti. That's, that's what I had my sights set on. I know I'm dreaming big, but if I'm going to be using this machine daily, both for gaming and, and video processing. Because my concern is just for issues that I've run into multiple times and not knowing for sure diving into a two pc setup out of the gates for what i have planned even having a pc up upgrading to a whole pc out of the gates isn't needed for these next first six months or so or maybe four to six months but i know towards the end of the year post the six month mark i'll be wanting a, a stronger better pc than just a, a basic i can get any any four hundred and three hundred dollar computer with a quad core i five, just to run the uh, the capture card to hook up my console and just deal with the stream portion only, because those are my only needs for the next few months. Once we once we dive into twenty eighteen, but in the later part of the year, I'm wanting to move from the console gaming to probably PC gaming and using my computer to stream it, but. I frank, uh, frequented it, frequented, there we go, frequented, um, quite a, quite a handful of concerts this year. Usually I end up attending, uh, a, anywhere from th four, five, six concerts or more possibly, and then also different events. Um, I know that's not enough to justify all the additional video editing, but when I've gone to process the two hour long videos, it'll take my current computer like 30 plus hours to process that. So I'm concerned that there are going to be days where I'm going to need to stream, be processing video in the background, playing a game, and uh, running the streaming software, OBS or XSplit, and encoding the real time video as well. Like, it's just, there's a lot of workload, and it's not just the six days of, you know, four, five, six days of concerts the following days where I'm trying to encode that stuff. True, I can always do it overnight, and with a better graphics card already, instead of the old integrated one I've got, it'll process it way faster than that, but, I don't know. Streaming AutoCAD software and other things, I, it's just, there's, I, I want to plan ahead. For, for the future. I know it might be excessive. 
but that's that's what I've got in my mind. So I'm not sure how far the rabbit hole goes for the future, but I just I want to be overly prepared. I was looking at the 1070 Ti as well. I realized the 1080 Ti is is probably overkill for all of my needs for like the next year. But anyways. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. What am what am I looking at? Um, the Quai Q U Quai 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 E Quai E. Uh, what are you what are you learning? Um, in general, I have been just I've I've been learning how to code in general for the last year. Today's uh ah Quai. Thank you for that phonetic breakdown. So helpful. You know, after 338 days, I would have hoped that I would have been a lot better at usernames, but I, I'm all but certain I've only gotten worse at pronouncing them. Uh, it's been a year-long exploratory journey of learning how to code. So right now, currently, I'm trying to set up a simple calculator that should look something like this guy, right? You know, minus this and do something. We're familiar with how a calculator works. This is my calculator currently. We've got a ways to go. We set up just some basic essential things just to have some noise in our files yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of project number eight, uh, but at the beginning of the year, January 1st, 337 days ago, we began our journey at Code Academy, completed all the free courses they had there, got to experience like 14, 15 different languages. Uh, then we moved on to Code Wars for a while, and then followed that up with Free Code Camp. And around the 9, 10-month mark, I think it was uh, in the beginning of October, uh, Topher, oh, oh, we can't highlight, there we go, Topher, set up these projects for us to help wean us away from the tutorial site rut that we were in for nine months. Um, as interesting and insightful as those sites were, these projects uh, have been far more effective at accelerating my, my learning curve. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up against now. And it's been awesome. What were we doing? We we're doing grid stuff. Uh, Olski, hi. How many hours of coding have you done each day? It has varied quite a bit, and even when we code has varied um, quite a bit. I mean, usually it's pretty con consistent. Uh, ideally, I'd love to stream earlier in the day. It's just with scheduling, it's hard and it fluctuates to, to get a daytime stream in. So usually... Uh, at night, we're tired, but we try to do it minutes before midnight. Kind of like a Cinderella thing. You know, as long as we get the stream in and started before midnight, we're good. I count that as the stream for today. So it's already, let's see, 0.23 or, or 12.23 a.m., depending on what time preference you, you prefer. Uh, so we're 23 minutes into tomorrow, but this is technically yesterday's stream, day 3.38, um, but usually, anyway, so we stream for anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, roughly. Some days we have shorter ones, 25-minute streams, 30-minute streams, because the goal is just to stream and to make some form of progress for coding every single day, which we've maintained that for the last 338 days. Um, but sometimes we've got longer streams, two, two and a half hour three-hour streams. Usually those are the painful streams with lots of frustration and uh, confusion, but confusion and frustration has been a common theme throughout throughout the entirety of this year. So yeah, it, uh, it varies. There's no consistency, which is... One of the consistent things about this stream. It's uh, always tragic. What were we looking for? CSS, the grid layout. We're trying to determine how we want to handle the spacing of all this crap. 
We are missing something I know we are. You know what it is? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. The header should go above. How many rows did I do? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. We have a number div and a symbols div. No, number div and a buttons div. Math operator. Math operation. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, so math operations will be that. That's what we'll call our div. We will call it the numbers div. Dip, 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 dip. Numbers div. Let's make some progress, right? Div num. Oh, frack. Yep, we're doing it. Numbers. Don't even care that there's more than just the numbers in there. It's just we're we're gonna group them that way because we can. No, no, we're not going to. We're going to have two divs. We're going to have a buttons div and the results div. Buttons div. Results div. We could do a big div for numbers with nested div for each number. That could work. Name for the operator. Big div for the numbers. So, big div for the numbers, a nested div for each. That's what I was thinking of. How would I implement grid? For the multiple divs, I would just rinse and repeat, wouldn't I? Main had grid with all of that noise. We wouldn't need to use main, we would use the div. So I would use the numbers div, and all of the sub divs would populate it. Okay. Okay, I, I, I could be that guy. I could be that guy. Far as her. Day 338. Are you a pro yet? Sadly, no. Far, far from it. Uh, we've had a needlessly inefficient learning curve uh, because it's it's been an exploratory journey. And um, even when we run into roadblocks, there have been, I don't know, um common themes that we've established that have evolved with the stream our, our learning curve and learning path has evolved with with our techniques definitely but there are certain aspects uh to the stream that have kind of become traits or a mainstay one of them being like the learning at at night right now it's midnight I, i'd always start the stream a few minutes before midnight sometimes there's a daytime stream um, so it's, it's extremely inefficient because usually like for the second half of the stream after about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, I'm completely delirious. Like, especially at one o'clock, like once, once an hour goes by, once one o'clock hits, oh my God, it's, it's bad times. It's like gremlins. You don't feed them after midnight. You don't get them wet after midnight. For me, Steven, Steven shouldn't code after midnight. I... It just, it's all bad. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, that's one special thing. And then also, 
Uh, I'm only streaming for small, small windows, anywhere from the 45 minute to an hour and a half range. Um, and again, it's late at night. I'm not doing these four and a half hour, six, eight hour chunks midday where my mind's fresh and I'm focused on it. I mean, we try to focus on it, but it's, uh, it's interesting. So yeah, there's also the yammering, me thinking out loud. True, there's been a lot of, a lot of talking to the chat for today's stream so far, I'd have to say. Slightly less pro uh, progress than normal, but I'm not, uh, I'm not learning closed doors, just me focused on the activity, not chatting with others. So there's just lots of different dynamics that have been piled on. Um, in addition to not having a goal, I didn't start the year out with, I want to learn JavaScript or be a JavaScript god within four months or six months. It's, hey, what is coding every single day? And I've just kind of stumbled on within arm's reach uh, for 338 days. So that's, that's kind of what's been happening. Uh, you're not on Windows, I'm not, but next, well, I mean, technically, I guess next year, which is just a couple weeks away, hopefully we'll be transitioning to the, the Windows side of the world, We because we're, we've got an older Mac Mini that we've been operating on. Uh, that's how we ended up doing our coding stream, was because we had a compatibility issue uh, regarding the minimum requirements for the capture card I got. So this was as good of a stream idea that I could come up with uh, at the beginning of the year, was stream every day and let's learn how to code every day. So I put the two together as a quick fix to not being able to stream games and 383 days later, we're still hanging out here. So yeah, that's, that's my story for the meantime. Uh, you're not on Windows. Download a software for me and show it to me since I'm on Windows. All, all in good time. Um, Quay, you pro, Fazier. Stack Overflow will be your best friend in programming. Stack Overflow has, has been very helpful, especially when we were at Code Wars. That was really helpful. Lots of people um, would post to Stack Overflow. A lot of the questions and challenges, which made it nice, because then it wasn't like exactly seeing the answer, because a lot of the times they were, they were posting because they were confused and needed help. Um, so you'd see the different people throwing out their different resolutions, and I'd get to piece together a couple different, different answers. Uh, next gen programmer language just went into alpha, but it doesn't work on Windows. Ah, sad face. Yes, language. Luna Lang, visual language. See that growing? Never heard of it. Although I've been quite oblivious to all things outside of the current tasks that I've been juggling each and every day. Now, we were setting up divs. That's what we were doing. You're going to set up a numbers div. You know what? We're going to have it as the buttons div. Yeah. Instead of the button class, this will be all button. I hope that's okay. God, I hope that's not problematic in the future. It seems wildly dangerous and stupid. Oh, there's that. Cut. And paste. There's this. That's our, let's do all button. That seems a little, little less hilarious. So we've got all button, and then here with the title and that, we can do a second div with inside main, or, uh, yeah, within main. 
Uh, and there can be div something top half results upper calculator buttons screen I don't even know what to call it we'll call it the face calc face calc face that works and here we will have the results window which is total and the header but okay that's a little bit better we have our giant main div which is the window the body of the calculator in the top portion we have the calculator face the calculator title and the results window to be which will hold the total and then from there we have a div class which is all buttons each button is its own div uh, with the class of button and the id of zero okay this is good this is good we are heading in the right direction at least um for main what will we have for main we don't actually need to do this crazy setup for main for main we will have two divs 1550 1640 i don't want to do 1fr and 2fr yeah, let's be that guy. 1FR and 2FR. So, display columns will be 1, which we really don't even need to set that up. Not for main, at least. Well, let's do Z. We're going to have three things. Copy. Don't mind the odd pasting. This is just a kind of a quick fix because we are going to have what's the class we're shooting for? Calc face. Calc face. As well as what was the lower portion? All button. Now, we won't need this. For rows, though, we can do 1FR and 2FR. One. FR, 2FR for a total of three. One third up top, two thirds below. And then for a calc face, we can actually kind of follow suit with the same thing, but we're going to reverse it. See how the header's bigger? And then the total is smaller. We're actually going to do 2FR. 1FR. Eh? Clever fix. So FR is fractional. And it works basically like a ratio. Which is extremely handy for breaking up sections. That way you don't need to know specifically what it is. Uh, what are we... Wow, lots of comments. Okay, hold on. Uh, Lang. <laughs> Visual language. Uh, see that? Can't create complex data structures, though. Both visual and text code. You can switch. That's where I'm about to download Linux, VM, check it out. What kind of development would you like to... Oh, what kind of developer would you like to be BDXing? Uh, seems like front-end web dev. Ultimate goal, I guess. Uh, 1337 Haxer. Uh, do you often need math to code? Not in web dev. Uh, depends on the field programming. Yep. AI and... Uh, CG programming, yes, a lot. Interesting. Uh, web dev, not. Uh, same game engines need math too. Uh, some. If you're programming a graphics engine, you need a lot of linear algebra and calc. Fascinating. Um, so I just, uh, I've got some minor work experience regard well i've got plenty of work experience but regarding 
coding, I've got uh, a little bit of SQL experience and some basic HTML experience um, with, with, in comparison to my broader work history. Uh, I was in HR, so human resources. Um, so if and when we'd go to update, like, an employee file or data or something like that, we could sign in as an admin, open up SQL, and, you know, do, we'd primarily do just basic select statements to verify information to see if, uh, the server received, if the backend received the data, uh, from the forms that the customers were filling out or applicants were filling out. Um, so just minor little basic troubleshooting things like that to just view data. Um, but aside from that, my, my understanding of, of programming in other languages was, was very, very minor. I had tinkered with the intro to HTML course, which also included CSS, uh, at Code Academy, like probably five, four, five years ago um and then i didn't touch any any type of coding for a couple of years it was only in my m most recent position um where i've been able to to tinker with sql and and some other minor html type things um but just really not a whole lot it was only in this last year where i kind of wanted to to pursue this uh, a bit more seriously um so since it had been a couple years, I went back to Code Academy because that's, I had looked at a few other tutorial sites, but I was familiar with Code Academy. Um, so I just started from there and Code Academy was again, like the first 150, 160 days. Uh, and it was nice because it was a broad perspective of languages. Again, I know that that now in hindsight, and I, I knew then, especially during the first 150 days, I'd have people tell me, just make your own projects, there's no need to bounce around through all the languages, but I went through, they had like, I don't know, probably close to 20 different courses I did, and it covered like 14 or 15 different languages. So I got to dabble with React, and Angular, and Ruby, and... CSS and um you know they'd cover SAS and stuff like that and they the Watson API and stuff like that from IBM so I mean it was a pretty broad perspective and from work experience um seeing the back end just doing basic SQL queries I'd like to I in general I'd like to be full stack but that just comes from work experience, knowing that you have to work with multiple teams, regardless of development. You always have to work with other people in, in different departments. But I think being a full stack developer would be beneficial. Um, but eventually I'd like to kind of focus on the back end. But all the free kind of resources that were fun, if if you will, mainly focused on a lot of front end stuff. Things like Code Academy and Free Code Camp, um, Code Wars more of the functional JavaScript side, but still, um, yeah, that's that's that. So that's that's what the year has been like, and it's just due to the the resources available that we've stumbled across. Again, there was no goal. This has been an entirely exploratory journey. Um, so this is just kind of where we ended up. Um, yeah, after three hundred thirty plus days. Uh, if uh, the quay, if you're learning programming or graphics engine, oh, wait, wait, right, 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 right. Quay, learn databases later. Just get good with a couple languages in the beginning. Uh, Bootstrap will handle a lot of HTML for you. Go full stack, my man. Yeah, I think full stack is, is where I'd like to head first. Um, and just because I've seen so much of it over the year at all the different sites, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I have taken a, a liking to JavaScript just because I've I've seen it so much throughout my my travels, the year long journey. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been interesting. Uh, 
Lido. Lidoptic. Okay, I'm going to school for all this stuff. No idea what. Hey. But I guess I have no choice. I think it's been fascinating, all the stuff that I've learned in the last year. Um. Apoxima. Apoxima. 338 days to make a calculator. Not not quite. I mean, that's where we're at now. Um, currently for this portion of the year, uh, one of our, our frequent viewers and mod, Topher, was kind enough back in early October at the beginning, just before October, I, I waited. He had the projects ready in like September, but I waited for October to start at the beginning of the month. Uh, he'd set up these 10 different projects so I've been chipping away at them. Um, so I I made it through the first seven in about two months or so. Uh, November just ended. Now that we've just started December, I've I've just started project number eight, the simple calculator. So we've gone through a couple things. We can open some of them. Uh, B -d 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 -d. Let's see. What do we want to open? File. Open. File D ba da ba 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 da 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 ba da. Uh, document. I guess we can. Oh, I mean, we've only got a few. Only what six or seven projects. Let's do the number game. Point to oh, you're not. That's not what we want. Why is it bugging out on us? Oh my god, it's freaking out. It's totally given up. My computer's seizing up. Bad, Stephen. Why? Why does it not like that? Tragic. It's not letting us open multiple files. That's okay. That's okay. We can open them one at a time. Open the number game. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why we were over there. File open. We've got our number game. We've got... Dum 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 dum. Coin toss. We've got dee 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 dee. Da 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 da. You don't show Inspector Gadget enough on TV anymore. Although that stopped in the early nineties, so I suppose that's not anything to complain about. Completely off topic. Where's random user generate? There it is. No, Magic 8-Ball first. This stream contains another ridiculous tangent. One, two, three, and four. We'll open two more. Just reflect. Magic 8-Ball stuff. Random user generator, and lastly, mouse position. At least for now. So, mouse position, here we go. Alright. We'll worry about other stuff in the future. Um, basics. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Ah, Apoxima, 338, uh, for the calculator, not quite, so, uh, we, we did number stuff, number guessing game, and coin toss game, and we'll go through all of these, Magic 8-Ball, Random User Generator, and, uh, Mouse Position, which I think was my favorite of the ones so far. Um, uh, okay, going to school, little picks, you'll be fine, you'll learn everything in the beginning, all the basics. Lidoptics. 
it's a general IT program, but you do everything, and they say to pick a route early. Um, I just dive into some YouTube videos and get familiar. I guess will do. You need a new PC. How viable do you think streaming, development, coding on Twitch? I don't know. I think it's been awesome. Mr. Demon Wolf, to be honest, I think it's good. You can teach others, and even sometimes people teach you new things. I've learned so much from the, the community on Twitch, learning to code. It's been fantastic. All the different resources. Again, I, I started at Code Academy, but I ended up at Code Wars and Free Code Camp due to uh, the community. Also, I've had people assist whenever I run into issues with my code damn near every single day. Not quite every every single day but i mean yeah I, i'd say out of seven days in the week usually at least five to six days i'm getting assistance from others and and even when if no one were to come to the chat there's still uh topher who is the one who set up all the like micro projects to to wean me away from the tutorial sites like Code Academy and Free Code Camp and Code Wars to get me to start working on my own projects. Well, projects that he provided. Uh, but this, the, all the instructions are so basic. All he really does is provide the example project and just say, you know, fly, fly. And then it's up to me to, to figure it out. So these are really just more of little bits of inspiration but anyways um yeah learning learning on twitch has been awesome i think the way i went about it was extremely inefficient but i'm also okay with that because i needed to generate a year's worth of content there was i didn't see any point in becoming a javascript god in four months and then not having any new content for the remaining eight months um, uh, think stream is good, you can each other's. Uh, I should also know too, because sellout. Uh, I should also know too, because sellout. Um, Magic 8 Ball was cool. Apoxmo, I was thinking of streaming my thesis development. So I could keep a log for myself, but I guess it would be cool to get feedback. You should totally do it. Absolutely. You can share it with your grandkids. Or, or the internet, uh, and there's Google, thesis topic, Google is our savior, yeah, yeah, but anyways, now we'll, now we'll tinker through, so, um, number guessing game, see, we can guess, favorite, 42, submit, aw, oh, 42 is too high, sad face, what about half that, 21, 21 is too high, what about, what about, uh, Nine? Holy shit, I guessed correctly. Ah, uh, damn. What do you know? Uh, coin toss was awesome because of, get ready for it, we click heads, boom. You picked heads, all the stats. We got tails. We lost both times. Let's click, uh, we'll keep clicking heads until we win. Hey, we got one. There's that. We'll click heads again. All oh, lost again. There we go. So, four, four times selected, two times one, we've got our average win rate just for heads alone. But then we've got an overall win rate with tails. And the chart is so cool, right? Pretty, pretty epic. So, yeah. It's, it was tons of fun. Nothing crazy, true, very basic, but still, still kind of, kind of handy. Uh, what else did we do? Magic 8-Ball. Should. Should. Well, you know what? We'll ask. Like we've asked before in the past. Will we make... Oh, that's not make. Progress. On the calculator. Right, right, right. Submit. Chances are you're doomed, but hopefully not. Well, that's that's quite insightful because I didn't think we were gonna make much progress on the calculator either. So that's that was the magic eight ball. It works. It's a thing. Also, it needs to have 
anything with a question mark will do. It needs to have the question mark. If it doesn't, we've gone over this before. If you submit it, boom, feed me a question, damn it. You have to confirm that. Ta-da. Otherwise, yeah, anything, as long as it's got a question mark, it doesn't give a damn. And it'll it'll take it. Boom. Consider it done. Exactly. Exactly. So we we've had time we'll refresh. This one was ridiculous. I'm still haunted by it. XHR. My God. It took so much to set up XHR. It was like, I don't know, 30, 40 lines of code, at least for me, the way I did it. It's probably less. It was probably like 25. But fetch and Axios and also jQuery all only took like, I don't know, six, eight lines of code to set up the APIs for those. So frustrating. I'm, I'm glad I did XHR first because to start with the easy ones and then end on XHR, I would have thrown myself out the window. And then lastly, mouse position. So sadly, I don't have OBS set up where you can see my mouse, but it keeps track of the X and Y coordinates on the, uh, on the window. And then wherever you click, it generates random stuff, random shapes with random characteristics. Pretty cool, right? Uh, that's a thing. So it's either ovals that spin or rectangles that grow, um, but they've got varying lengths and widths and colors. My favorite thing is you just click right in the center a bunch. Yeah, and you just drop in the, you just bring the, bring all the colors to life. Look at this. You can just do this all day. Yeah, get get some, get some. All right, so, I mean, we've had a, and there's been another one or two projects in addition to all this. So it's been a long, a long haul for the last year or so. It was a very slow start. These projects that Topher curated for us have been extremely helpful. Um, yeah, so we're ever grateful for all his his efforts. Let's close out of this noise and kind of streamline some of this. We'll keep Grid Garden open. We'll keep our oper you know, we'll close the operations, close out of our older stuff. So right now, again, we're faced with project number eight, the calculator. That is why Apoxima. That is why calculator 338 days later. Because that's that's the part of the journey we're on. Okay. So what's happening? Uh B D D D D Google's our savior, Poxma procedurally generating anthropology. Oh wow. I don't I don't know what any of that is. I mean each word individually, yes, but conceptually. Let's find out. There's another sentence regarding it. Essentially generating worlds. Items in history for games. Oh, procedurally generating anthropology. Generating worlds, items in history for... That sounds epic, dude. Mr. Demon Wolf streaming is good. To be honest, I started streaming because of a streamer on Twitch. Hype. Yeah. Uh, the Quay. So, game dev. You doing masters or undergrad? Meatball Kitty is going to mess with the stream. Signs point to yes. Hopefully not. No, no awakening the Kraken, Mr. Demon Wolf. No. She is, she's sleeping on the far side of the room. Thank God. Little Kitty's passed out. Usually she would be here trying to sabotage the stream, hopping all over the keyboard. I don't think my heart could take it. Not with all the stress of the last project. Now this one, I've barely been able to figure out where to place the friggin' divs on this project, how to lay the grid out. I don't think I could juggle Little Kitty's antics on top of all of this. Um, Poxma, the research isn't really game dev. Games 
is just an obvious application for it. It's story planning that could be applied to writing, TV shows, movies, and books. Hmm, interesting. That is interesting. Shapes and RIP the stream. No, no, no. We're not, we're not over yet. We need to make a little more progress. We're, we're still unfulfilled. Our, our thirst for progress still lingers. Uh, Poxma, if it works, every time you start a new game, the world and the story would be unique. Could be playing Skyrim, then Star Wars, then Lord of the Rings. Hopefully. Undergrad or Masters, we need the kitty. She is sleeping, damn it. Uh, undergrad, we must have kitty. Be mad. Let her, let her, she's, she's resting. She is... Gathering her strength to sabotage a stream in the future. That's probably what she's doing. The feline gods are having her rest. They're sparing me for one night. What were we doing? We, we made a change here. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's at least register a change for our calculator. We haven't even changed our... We, we made all that change to our html doc and now we're setting up our we had our, our css grid epiphany so to speak so this will be split into one fr two fr which is roughly around here somewhere yet again another shout out to grid garden and flexbox froggy anyone who hasn't experienced css grid or Flexbox for CSS should absolutely check out these two. Out of my year-long journey of being a master-level novice person, um, novice programmer, these have been the most engaging, entertaining micro-activities. They're extremely short micro-lessons for each one, and uh, they're absolutely awesome. I think we've given them a shout-out every single day for the last, like, three or four days, but that's because they're awesome, and uh, it's just a fact. Just a fact. Definitely worth checking out. Life changing. Both of them. I started with Flexbox Froggy um, and then finished with CS uh, Grid Garden, but they're, they're fantastic. So, we have our one fractional and then two for the button fractional below. And then for the calculator face. We're breaking that up into two fractional and then one fractional. A nice little flip. And then now we come down to the buttons. I am wanting all four columns of buttons to be equal. Four, wide, and five. Damn. What do we do about the freaking clear button? You know what we do with the clear button? We set the clear button up top, above. We seclude the clear button from the rest of them. It's its own beast, and it's next to the header. We'll do an 80-20 split so it keeps the same width as the other ones. That's so fascinating. <laughs> Good job, Steven. Good job. Okay, so 80-20... You know what? We'll do 20, 60, 20. That's what we'll do. We'll do 20, 60, 20. Let's bring back columns. Copy. 20, 60, 20. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, 20, 60, yeah, look at that. That's what I want. Give me some of that. Um, so 20, 60, 20. We have two rows of that and that. We only have one for our calc face. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I did this in the wrong spot. This needs to go with calc face. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. Okay. 
Um, what are we looking for? Undergrad, have you done the JavaScript yet, or is this just the visuals? Uh, he's done the JavaScript for the other ones too. Eight ball and etc. was done with JavaScript. Uh, for this particular project, we haven't done the JavaScript just yet, but that's because I'm not planning on styling the calculator fully. I just want to get like an exoskeleton for the thing that way I can also it'll kind of help me visualize where and how the functions are being connected I, I can't quite it's hard enough to dream up the CSS at, at its most basic form and that is visual stuff so me trying to juggle the functional side on an entirely blank canvas is still really hard for me to do um, I mean, it is possible if I were to dedicate a lot of time and effort to that, but it's easier for me to just kind of set up the most basic stick figure type drawing and then work out all the, then, then I, then I go back to building out all of the, the JavaScript and then I save polishing for later. Kind of like setting up just the, the core of the HTML structure. So, um, that way I just have things to connect to. That way I have divs to reference in my JavaScript things like that uh but yeah as far as the other ones i think probably the most recently impressive by my standards which are freakishly low uh file open is is the javascript for the color one what was it the mouse position project with all the different shapes in fact we can open all three for mouse position Although that's going to be right in the heart of this. Ta-da, does that still show in OB? Oh my god, it doesn't even show. It's an entirely different window. You sack off. Not cool. Not cool. Let's try that again. File. Open. We'll open the individual files instead of the folder. Open stuff. Mouse position. HTML, CSS. So, yeah, that was just the basic HTML for uh, the, what's it called? The, uh, well, the mouse position project. And then this was just its basic fairly basic CSS, all things considered. The real magic of the mouse position was with the JavaScript, and uh, we had random values being generated for damn near everything. The shade of red, green, and blue for RGBA, opacity included. And then we also... Also did random values for the height and width, as well as, well, just about, just about everything. So, um, even, even the positioning of the shape. So here we had to divide the shape origin, because when you'd create a shape, or create an element, uh, it creates it from the upper left, well, I guess from your guys' perspective, the upper left corner. And then it would go down from there. So we had to divide the height by half and the width by half. So when we click, it would generate from the center of the, or the, the click would be at the center of the object that gets generated. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was interesting to say the least. It was a good project. Good project. Close out of that noise. Close out of this noise. You know what? The other fun one, let's gander at it. This has been a very tangent-filled stream, so we might as well keep keep the theme going. Um, we can relive the glory of the random user generator, all the API nonsense that had to go into that. Open. We'll just gander at the JavaScript for that. Yeah, so again, XHR was this giant beast. Yeah, right here. All of that for the XHR. 
uh, API request. It was needlessly long. Compared to, we can fit all three other requests on the screen in the same space as XHR. That was fetch, Axios, and then jQuery. Those were, these are carry-on size. You could, you wouldn't have to check these if you were traveling. Oh dear god, Nightbot, will you f***ing cool your... Here, Mr. Demon Wolf, let me, let me permit your, your stuff again. I think we still have it paste. Boom, there we go, there we go. Do your thing, Mr. Demon Wolf. You got 60 seconds of glory. Thanks to... Nightbot, the fun police. God, we gotta adjust those settings. We've only invited Nightbot to the party recently. Okay, so that's, that's that. Good, good times. Tons of fun. Close out of that noise. Back to calculator hell. We were dealing with some of the spacing issues. Uh, game dev undergrad works over time. Skyrim, yes, good, 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 good. Have you done JavaScript for this? Mr. Demon, make sure to check out his GitHub. Ah, too kind, Mr. Demon Wolf. Damn, Nightbot terminating links. Crazy robot telling you Skynet. Uh, Feels bad, man. Right, right. I was trying to help Nightbot. I know we gotta, we gotta tinker with him. We need, need to adjust Nightbot's settings. Something fierce. Uh, just want to help, help the viewers. Uh, what text header is that? Adam. It is indeed Adam. Very, very basic default settings for Adam. That as well. All right, so back into action. Let's just, as long as we can see change, doesn't even need to be successful change, just any change, we'll, we'll be good. Not, not exactly a lot of progress for day 338, but let's be honest, even when we're trying to make progress, usually we're, we're slowed down by confusion so much. 80% of the stream, so I don't really think we've lost as much ground as we think we have. What were we... There was another thing. I could have sworn I saw a comment, Mr. Demon Wolf. I think it was you. Something about making our own music while we stream. Yeah, that's, that's a constant thing. VS Code. I we need to try VS Code. Although hopefully when we get our our, our Windows machine for gaming, streaming, and video editing and processing and all that noise, potentially 3D modeling and AutoCAD and whatnot, um, we can get Visual Studio. Now, ah, right, we were collecting our thoughts. The train, our train of thought, had gone f careening off the tracks, and now we're trying to reorient where we left off and what the hell is exactly happening. So, we have our main, main display, or our single div window. Up top, we have our calculator face, the header, and the results total window for the equation. Uh, we're breaking up the entire calculator into one-third up top followed by two-thirds below for the button. Here in the header we're gonna have two-thirds up top, one-third below. We've got this and that. We're gonna have three. We're gonna have a bit of space to the left, 20%, 60% for the header, and then to the right of calculator we're going to be installing the all clear button. That is to help adjust the spacing so we only need to have plus where'd it go 
why can't we click uh plus minus uh multiplication and division we'll have all equal button sizes below uh, and even above for the one clear button by doing this so from here we will do the following we will do the following uh grid columns four and all 20 percent that doesn't need to change awesome this is calc face that's an extra space good get rid of that buttons have that main copy paste and paste let's do green red for main red we can get rid of that my bad i added extras green and blue didn't even realize i i was duplicating that stuff blue we're gonna leave these as black uh and we'll do this as we'll leave it as solid we'll do the others as dashed or dotted we'll leave everything as solid for now let's do this let's do this Save, 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 and here we go. Big money. Refresh. Ta da! Be -de 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 -de. Now, true, we do need to move stuff, and that's okay, but the overall layout still stands as is, which is the important part. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move the all clear button up top. <laughs> and I'm not sure we're going to adjust all of the buttons for right now i just want to re reposition the stuff what's it called you know what it's called sackish the all clear button the all clear button we want to set that up and you know what let's also we've got our buttons in general but we also have total dot total Whoa, that's not how you spell total at all. That was totally wrong. Border. Orange. That is what we need. Orange. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Refresh. Ta-da. Now, that doesn't look very pretty, but it'll work out in the end. <clears throat> it will work out in the end. Uh, we're going to throw some flex box into this noise. Start shifting things around. It's going to be really nice. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We still have to make our way through this shit storm. And then uh, once we get a little bit further, then we can start chipping away at the actual, actual JavaScript stuff. <clears throat> so, with that said, let's move one foot in front of the other what's happening in chat all kinds of stuff uh adam vs code all uses vs products uh mstf is life vs code is open source on all platforms um visual studio is now on mac vs code works on mac windows 10 enterprise plus office pro plus 2016 plus onedrive plus vs code equals life Office OneDrive, Office 365, as if that's somewhat better. I haven't had to use Office, I mean, aside from, from work, but that's, I'm not having to pay for that. Uh, and why do business and enterprise use it? Yeah, I, I haven't... Do, does everyone I, you know what, i've got a question speaking of enterprise that that reminds me of something when i go to it's for github github 
You know what? No, 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 it's not there. We haven't reached the end of the stream yet. I think we're nearing the end of the stream. Probably 10 or so minutes, maybe 15, gauging how much we've been ranting. Um, GitHub Desktop. Open this. There's, when you go to create a new repository, file. Oh, where's OBS? And I should just be asking this question at the end of the stream, but I'm dying to get an answer. If anyone has any insight, that is. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, file. New repository. Damn, it doesn't show and I need to create one. There's something about enterprise or whatever, and I'm not sure what to do. When do people start taking advantage of the enterprise? I mean... Does anyone use enterprise stuff at a, as a personal level? I always, it always seemed like to me whenever I would think of a developer that it's a usually like a solo thing. I know there's whole development teams, but I always figured everyone was still doing their own workload, working on their portion of whatever project. Being a developer, despite being on a team, I always had the idea that it was a very like singular individual activity so with that said i know there's a lot of solo devs guns for hire freelances do they use enter the enterprise um accounts or features on github i guess that's my question close and we'll close out of that for now we'll save our changes later get rid of that Kind of an ugly question, but that's that's what that was leading to. <clears throat> um, why do business uh, OneNote and Outlook is worth it? Uh, GitHub Enterprise, Proxmo. Yes, it's for private repositories. It's not enterprise. It's a developer plan. It allows private repositories. Aha! That's what it is interesting and that's its purpose good to know another mystery solved way cool okay awesome um speaking of awesome we needed to move this damn all clear button you know i'd actually like to uh, move the results window and the all clear button so let's try and juggle those two so we need to move calc base to flex box flex direction column flex box display flex flex direction column save refresh Aha, uh -huh. it worked. It doesn't look like it did much because the orange, it just looks like a line, but that's because there's no content in there. If we were to add content, things should be here. Save. Refresh. Ta-da! See? See? Pretty cool. So, that's that. Um, but let's continue on with this party. So, we have that bit. We also need to... Damn! You know what I realized? This is gonna be a f***ing nightmare. How am I going to get this button? I didn't realize that. How am I going to get this button all the way up to calculator? Oh, I'm not, I'm not moving it like this, although I'm sure there's a clever workaround I could find out via CSS. Um, I, I could just move it move the button from here we did account for it with the div and the spacing 
So that's there. God, this almost needs to be its own separate thing. Save. Yeah. This should be like header or something. Or title. We could do header. Header or title. What would be better? Header or title? How do I want to space that? That means I need yet again another freaking div. I don't want to do another div. I think... Hold on, there, there's a way for me to do this with CSS. I think there is. Um, developer plan, it also allows for private repos, Proxima, but the Git Enterprise is something that a single person would not use. Uh, oh, what do I do? A sue sucks in Jack? X in G key? God damn it. We're gonna go to our go to unknown username. Uh, Captain S. That's what it is. That's the most I've got. I'm, I'm going off with what I've got here. I'll need the phonetic breakdown for your username, Captain S. Instead of paying for private, you could just use GitLab instead. I suppose that's a workaround. I guess I need to figure out what the deuce GitLab is in the first place, but that's another Google search. Mr. Dean Wolf, uh, Poxma, Git Enterprise is literally for enterprises that have special hosting requirements and support. Uh, Mr. Dean Wolf, well, one person could use it, of, uh, Poxma, of course, but it's overkill true. Um, Poxma, free developer account with student email? Maybe. Is that a thing? Do they have that? I think I've still got access to my old student email. What were we doing? Oh, we were trying to figure out how to juggle. We have main. We have calc face, which is divided into two. We did need, we needed, and we've got our three. We have flex. It's in a column format. Do we need it to be in a column? Whoa, 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 hold on. Who the hell's on first right now? We don't need it to be in column. We don't need it to be in column at all. We just need to tell it its position. Yeah. We need to tell total to be through. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't remember if I need flex direction column or not. Damn, damn, damn. Here, Apoxima, let me, let me, let me hit you up with the permit. Apoxima. There you go. Boom. 60, 60 seconds of fun. Do your worst. It's Nightbot. Again, he's new to the party. We've, we've been, it's been like the Wild West here with no rules or anything recently. It was just Nightbot was part of the whole me adding in notifications. I've gone over 11 months without having notifications, but then for some reason... People started donating and doing bits and subbing, and that's just, which is awesome, but unexpected. Because it's been this kind of content, just crazy guy being confused for a year. So I figured I wouldn't get any of that kind of financial awesomeness on any level until next year when I started doing, like, gaming or actually trying to fully utilize all my coding skills. I mean, I'm using all my coding skills now, but I know, yet again, when you do your own project, I'm still trying to pursue 
an external vision, so to speak, by piecing this together. But we'll 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 get there. That's a separate issue. Um anywho, yeah, good good times. So uh B D D D D EDX Education GitHub dot com slash pack you'll get access to all these as well for free with student github if you've got your email still oh, let's click the link oh the other thing for anyone uh new um to to our little slice of of twitch uh i don't have a second screen so all of my all of my chat interaction is delayed because it's on my phone so when I start coding or I, I get on a tangent, I don't see the, the comments. Uh, but that's that's what's going down. So yeah, education stuff. Cool, cool. It works. Student developer pack. Learn to shift software like a pro. No substitute. Get your pack. Bitchin. Thank you for the link. Awesome. You uh, suck. Sinjek and Captain S, damn it. And we need the phonetic breakdown. Uh you did anything besides the web calculator? Yes, most definitely. We did go through uh some of that stuff earlier. Um most most notably recently we will open two more. That's right. Uh open file. We did mouse position, where it tracks our mouse cursor, the X and Y coordinate. I know you can't see the mouse, but it is tracking it. But where we click, it does random shapes, although we're, we're on a string of ovals. But it does both uh, ovals and rectangles. Ovals spin, rectangles grow. And then if you just drop them there in the center, it'll do whatever you want. But yeah, it was fun, so that was interesting. Required lots of JavaScript. Uh, random stuff. So we we've done some some odd projects here and there. Um, but we did the first 150 days at Code Academy, which we can bring up. Code Academy dot blah. And we also did a fair amount of time. Back of death. So yeah, at, at the time when we did finish, day 159, around there, uh, we had completed all of the free courses that they currently offered. They did an update recently during the summer, the later part of the summer, so it's kind of either cleared progress, even though we finished it, or reset at some weird point for uh, any of the content that's the same. But yeah, we got to experience Angular and Ruby and React, uh, Java, SQL, um, Watson API, Python, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that was fun. Again, that took up almost nearly the first half of the year. Uh, then we went on to Code Wars and Free Code Camp. Those were all fascinating uh, in their own way um but around the 10 month mark yes at the beginning of october topher hooked us up with all these cool little micro projects and uh we have just started project number eight yesterday the simple calculator we're shooting for this we'll we'll get there we will get there um but right now we're still kind of piecing everything out. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of CSS. This stream has, oddly enough, been a lot of ranting, more than normal, reflecting on the last year, which I guess is kind of cool in its own way. Um, but I'm just trying to set up the most basic kind of stick figure form of the calculator before, before configuring all the JavaScript needed to bring our HTML info to, to life. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. So all kinds of stuff over the last 338 days. All of it was awesome except for binary. Holy hell, God was binary difficult. That was a rough stream trying to come to terms with what the hell was happening. Binary at Code Academy. I mean, we survived. 
but that was not not a course I want to live through again. So we were moving this. We've already moved this up. We have all three. We can have it as flex box, but we don't need... Do we even need to set it as flex box? We do. We absolutely do. How else would we set it as 3 and 1? Well, we already have it set as 3 and 1. Okay, fine. Well, then let's get rid of flex. You know what flex will cover? Flex will end up covering centering the item, which we don't really need to have them centered as of now. We'll add flex in the future, but it's not essential yet. What is important is the span process. So total and header, let's get these kind of stacked in order. Cut. The buttons will be below total, which is our screen. And we will also have the, I guess, H1. We don't really need to call it anything else. The H1 will be... What do we call it? Grid. Do I have to mention display grid for this element? I probably do. I do. I know we... No, no, no. We don't need to. Because the primary div that it's stored within already has display grid on it. So all we need to reference is grid column 2. As well as grid... Row one, I think. God, I. Dave. And. Ace. No? Save and refresh. Aha! Exactly! Oh, fuck. Not exactly. Motherless. God damn it. Fuck. Yes and no, it kind of worked. It's fine. You know what? It's good. Let me show you something. Let me, let me just throw something out there really quick. It's because... We started to leverage, we set up grid, which is important, and that's how it's supposed to work. But, save, 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 refresh, it already moved. Of course it already moved. Why wouldn't it have already moved? With all the buttons scattered, following the basic layout, it was just kind of auto-populating the grid. I'll, you know, watch where the chips fall as they may. That's what was already happening. Now that we've specified grid locations, we've awoken the Kraken. It realizes that it needs to have grid positions for all these buttons. Because right now, it's just doing its best with all this, with all this noise. So that's what we're up against. Uh, Captain S, maybe you should organize buttons into rows, and then you can align them inside the row the way you want. We kind of had, have that with, um, all of our buttons, true, it's just a massive list of, of divs here, but we have our divs broken up into, into sections. Slightly similar to this, the difference is that all of our buttons, the uh, all the math operations, plus minus multiply divide, will be the same size as the numbers, uh, seven, eight, nine, all the way to zero, um, and then the all clear button will be above the screen, above the total, next to calculator on the right side. That way, we can have four rows. 
or four columns of 25% width buttons, and then we'll have five rows of, uh, five, why do we have five rows of buttons? That's interesting. We only need four rows of buttons. So it's four by four, 25 by 25. They're just as confused as we are. Four by four. Holy shit. What do you know? Thank God we, we went through that. You know, the things you stumble across when you're, when you're coding things. Um, okay, so we've got that. What else do we need? We need the following. We're going to actually add another div called div emptiness. Yep. Oh, stack off. Empty. Yep. Watch this. Empty space. So here, now we have stuff filling out all three in the top section of our... Save, 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 save. Everyone has a place. Everyone has a purpose. So now, when we go to refresh this... There is an empty div. See, this looks better now. We have our header, our all clear button, which will eventually be stylized. Crap, that needs to be empty, and that needs to be empty. Let's do the same. Let's place those empty one. Copy around. Total. Now, we don't have to do empty one. I'm just trying to populate as much shit as possible and sort of cover my trail here to also help visualize what the deuce is going on. Refresh. See, look at that. Things should be here shimmied into place. Now, we have a lot of groundwork to cover regarding the buttons, but I'm going to save the button fiasco for tomorrow. But aside from that, you know what, let's at least place one button. We're going to place seven in the upper left. We're going to put it exactly where it needs to be in the upper left space. So that would be row one something one. Row one grid, grid something, grid stuff. Who's on first? Copy, copy, copy. Oh, dear God, what do we call it? It's ID 7. Is it 7? It's 7. Yeah, ID 7. Ta-da. Save, 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 save. Refresh. Those bastards. Why? I did something wrong. Oh, I don't have display grid in there. I don't have display grid. Here we go. Display grid, crisis averted. I'm going to comment this out just to show the difference. Save, save, save. Refresh. Look, buttons are back in place, right? See? Zero, three, blah, 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 blah. But we're going to move seven over here. Let's comment that out. Ta-da, save, save, save. Let's see what happens. Refresh. Aha, uh -huh. and it just shifted everything over. Still zero, one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. It just moved it how it should be. I, because I added the empty divs, so everything kind of fluctuates and, and shimmy into the space that uh, we need and want, we can actually I'm 
I'm going to end up getting rid of empty 2 and 3 because we want the screen to spread across all the way. Um, and we need to, we'll convert that back to just emptiness. But anyways, that's, that's where we currently stand. We, we know what's up. That's what's going down. We can actually get rid of, you don't have to get rid of, we'll comment it out in the meantime, but just to show that because we have everything in its, its place, it kind of knows where, where its place is thanks to grid. Again, Grid is fantastic. Anyone who needs to learn Grid, go use Grid Garden. It's a needlessly powerful tool. And I'm a complete idiot. So I'm sure someone who's skilled and a veteran programmer could work wonders with Grid. It's absolutely stunning with what you can do with it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, let's save and check out. We survived day 338. Save, save, save. An odd amount of story time compared to actual progress. Usually there's plenty of yammering, but there's a, we got to relive the past multiple times with a handful of different viewers, so that's kind of cool. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. everything's been saved. We can close out of this. We can go back to GitHub to commit and push our code, save our progress. There's this. Here's OBS. Open the desktop. Yeah, there's that. Oh, what do you know? It's still open. Let's let's close it. I'm sure it's got all the updated stuff, but we're closing back out, reopening. And that shows up in OBS? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Awesome. Here we go. What did we do? We set up CSS grid stuff. That, that should be good. If the historians are trying to figure out what happened... Today, a hundred years from now, I think that's a sufficient description. Commit to master and push. Resolving deltas. Close. Okay, there we go. We'll verify everything was successful. Repositories. Simple calculator. Updated 10 seconds ago. Two of our files, HTML and CSS, JavaScript to come in the future. Uh, we'll, we have a bit more. We'll, we'll finalize our CSS. Not finalize, but the base layout. And then we'll, we'll start chipping away at all of our functional coding. So, way cool. Let's back out of this noise. Back into OBS. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, no, no. There we go into OBS. Thank you again to anyone and everyone who stopped by to view the stream today and or assist. Uh, today we had Phaser, Fazer, one of those, the Quay, um, Poxima, Mr. Demon Wolf, Lido, Lidopics, Lidoptics, Lidoptics, one of those, one of those indeed. Uh, we also had a fucking nightbot, damn nightbot, crashing our party. Um, and then who else, who else did we have towards the end? Uh, Suxinjiki, I don't, Captain S again, we never got the, the phonetic breakdown for your username, but good to have you nonetheless. Also to anyone else. Who may have stumbled in here by accident. Thank you very much. Any and all views are greatly, greatly appreciated. Day 338 comes to an end. However, the adventure continues tomorrow with day 339 of the year of streaming and learning to code. In the meantime, we're stopping the stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it!